represents population bases. It represents the masses of people. You've heard the expression a sea of faces or a sea of people. So the Bible makes it very clear. Revelation 17, 15, allowing the Bible to be its own interpreter. All right. The Bible provides the symbolic prophetic keys to unlock the rich symbolism to decode the uh, you know, cryptic. Um, the Lord has to send his, his men, his holy men, his prophets and teachers to teach someone um, the mysteries of the Bible. All right. You just can't wing it and make up your own your own breakdowns on the Bible. Okay? Um, yeah, it's, it, it, it's not left to anyone's private interpretation. All right? The Bible has its own interpretation. Um, and the Lord had to send, send someone to teach you it. Let's go to the book of Romans, the 10th chapter and the 14th verse. All right. And it says, how then? Okay. First, let's read the 13th verse, right? It says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And his holy name is in the Hebrew language. All right. And the Lord will only reveal that his holy name to his chosen men, all right, which are uh, Hebrew Israelites, true Hebrew Israelite, Hebrew Israelites, which are the so-called Negroes, uh, so-called Latinos and so-called Native American Indians, all right, scattered throughout North, Central and South America and throughout the whole world of Negro, Negro and Indian descent, right? It says, um, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Right. It's talking about the Israelite foreigners, which in the New Testament, they're also known and classified as being the, the Gentiles. All right. <clears throat> They were uh, the Israelite foreigners because they were scattered pursuant to the to the curse that fell upon the nation of Israel. When you go to Deut the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and the 64th verse, uh, Israel, the true nation of Israel, was scattered throughout the four corners of the earth amongst all nations and all peoples of all languages. So after many years, they forgot their heritage. All right. And. And that's in the book of Jeremiah that they, that the nation of Israel was going to discontinue from their heritage, all right? And their their identity is part of that. And the customs, they were following the customs of the actual heathen, the actual Gentiles that the Lord did not uh, choose to be His chosen people. So after many years of being in captivity and being scattered, right? Uh, they they forgot who who they were. They didn't continue in the practice of uh, the tradition, the tradition of the Hebrew Israelites, which is the the laws given to Moses to give unto the Israelites, right? The knowing of their nationality, uh, practicing the services of of God, right? Of the Mosai that Mosai gave us, right? Gave unto the Israelites. And it says, how then shall they call on him whom, whom they have not believed? Right, because they were busy believing in the Israelite foreigners that were scattered amongst the Greeks and different nations. They were believing in the different gods, right? Uh, of, of, of whichever nations they were scattered uh, within. And how shall they believe in whom, I'm, and, I'm sorry, and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? See, so you need, uh, the Lord has to send someone. Um, um, a, a someone that he raised up and gave the, his word to, to go and teach uh, the others uh, that will soon believe in his holy name as well. And in his holy word as well. So let's read uh 
uh, Jeremiah the third chapter in the 15th verse because this this uh, further proves that um, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding right the knowledge and understanding of his word his word of truth all right so back here to uh, Romans the 10th chapter and the uh, 15th verse it says and how shall they preach except they be sent right who are they going to be sent by the heavenly father himself all right and they will be sent and then they will teach other men like themselves and then those men will go out and do the same all right but you just can't sit there and read the bible and think to yourself that that um uh you know that god is dealing with you and you start creating your own uh interpretations all right but that's where you go off like this this guy here he's going off he's 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 breaking down the prophecies down wrong okay it says and how shall they and how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace right and the only ones that are to preach this word are his chosen men that are of his chosen nation the nation of israel okay like i said before who are the israelites who are the lost tribes of the nation of israel i just told you a little while ago it's the, the so-called negroes the so-called blacks of america they came over here in cargo slave ships it's the so the so-called latinos people of central and south america and it's also the native americans the Na native american indians all right that the, the uh, so-called caucasian uh, uh, uh white race conquered and stole america from all right from america the native american indians of america these are the lost tribes of the nation of israel okay and then to coming in, heading towards the very last day is going to know that and the only ones that could be prophets and teachers of the heavenly father are israelites all right which one of the disciples were of another nation all right they were all they were all israelites okay paul even said all right the author of this letter here to the romans he and those romans were israelites as well he was an israelite all right it's all about the israelites man it's all about the hebrew israelites and cho god's chosen people it says how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace yeah peace the, the peace of the hebrew israelites between the hebrew israelites and god and the most high and their god and bring glad tidings of good things right a good a, uh, a glad tiding of good thing is the uh is the destruction of the edomite empire which is ruling right now all right with, with uh, america being the head the head figure of all that this either my empire being destroyed and the empire and kingdom of the heavenly father and his son being established with his chosen elected men 144,000 ruling with him all right language if you will now watch this everybody second piece from the earth okay the other piece is from the sea the sea represents populated bases represents the the peopled areas of the world okay this piece it's talking about all the nations that have come over here to america babylon the great to become rich okay